What is up everyone, G2Vex30 here, coming in with a new series today. Now, it's not totally a new series, but it's a new game type of a series we already do. Today, and in the coming weeks, months, years, we will be doing some more ranked commentary. The way I want to set these up is the first part is me talking about the draft and what's going on and why picks are good and bad, and then the commentary right after. Let me know what you think of this, and depending on how well this video does, I might do more ranked. So if you want to see more ranked on this channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to show me that you want more. Also, leave a comment down below and tell me how you like the format. I hope everyone enjoys this video. Also hope you enjoy this new series. And again, if you want to see more rank, show me. Thank you all for stopping by and I'll see you in the video. Alrighty, <clears throat> let's get right into this ranked placement game. Um, I haven't done this series for a while. I think I'm doing this one a little bit differently than my previous ones. I think these will, I'm trying to be a little more serious with them, you know, I'm trying to give a lot better commentary since it is ranked. Um, I'm trying to see, you know, what people ban in ranked. I'm trying to just, you know, give you guys an idea what goes on in ranked. <clears throat> I don't play much ranked myself, but I decided to do my placements here. So let's, let's see how this goes. So we're banning the Drogos and the Khan, which is okay. I think Drogos ban's weird. The Khan ban's good, but that leaves us open with Makoa. Typically first pick, you don't have to ban Khan. Because Khan's good right now in the meta, so is Makoa. So you don't have to ban the Khan first pick or the Makoa. You typically want one of them. But I think this is okay so far. Kind of like where we're going with this. Just be playing support. I'm sure my team, every team will like me just because of that. So Makoa's still open. So if Makoa, somebody wants Makoa, this would be the time to pick him. Um... I was just gonna mess with this guy a little bit, give him a little emote, see if he gets it. Oh, sorry. I'm I'm having too much fun. The so Torvald. Guy wants Damba. I'm gonna take Leanne, actually. Are we gonna play damage in ranked? Is this happening? We're gonna play the Leanne against the Torvald Lex? I think that's the play. Wow, we're not gonna play a support for a game. This guy insta locks Damba, which is fine. Yeah. Where you go, Leanne? That is what we're gonna do. Oh, I still have low graphics on. Typically, so to explain this, because everybody was asking, I play on low graphics when I'm not recording because it's it's better FPS equals a better competitive experience for me and better FPS is just better for aiming and for everything. So that's why I run low graphics. And typically when I record, I like to change things and I like to increase them so it doesn't look that bad. But we, uh, we forgot to, uh, we forgot to switch him up. So you're going to have to deal with this this looking land for a little bit. It should look better after this. <clears throat> All right. So we got a Makoa. We got a Dombo. We got a Leanne. They have a Torvald Lex Nando Furia. So they have Fury Heals, which is good. We have uh, Death and Taxes. Um, they have Nando Shield, Torvald Shield. So we're going to be running Death and Taxes straight into Wrecker. Wrecker 3. We're going to need a lot of Wrecker. We're basically the Leanne. Like when we're playing Leanne here, we're playing for Shield Break and we're playing for Control. We're not looking to dive. We're not looking to do anything. We're looking to just break shields and help our team. We also will have the Talus if he locks Talus. So going the Talus here is also really good. Fight off the Lex really well because he'll have the uh, built-in caught and Wrecker as well. So I kind of like our comp is looking really good so far. Just because our built-ins on land and Talus. The Ruckus is actually really good here. He has a couple of... He has a hard counter and some soft counters up, but they go Tyra, so they didn't, it didn't really go either. So let's see how this goes. Um, all right, so let's 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 really like analyze this and look at this. Tyra marks are gonna be annoying. They have a level zero Furia. Lex and Torvald, if played properly, will mess up people's day. But when you have somebody like Lian, who I can go death and taxes, this is the build I run for Lian right now. Um, I don't go full into Manifest and Heir to the Throne, but it's like my main ones. Um, I run a little extra health and reset on Valor for my dash, because having dash up is always nice. We're going to run Wrecker, because we'll have Death and Taxes, Wrecker and Caught, which is great, which obviously amazing, against, especially against a, uh, a Torvald Nando. Um, I got to watch out for this DR, though. He gets 90% DR when dashing. Let's see if he has the right build for it. No, he does not. So, the build for Lex when you run that is reset on your auto attacks on your dash. Oh, goodness. The Damba's lagging. That's all right. Play around that. Make ourselves an easy healing target. So, field study. 
This we're countering that super hard. All right, we're gonna go probably right to start. We're gonna play with our Talus at the beginning. I'm gonna lurk a little bit, let him take the aggro. Dash up on this Tyra. We know she's around the corner. Easy kill. Go back to main. We know that's where their tanks are and where the Torvald is. I'm trying to focus down the Torvald first. Because the nano is not as important. Killed the Furia. That's a big kill in their support. We know Lex is going to the right. We're going to try to look for a pocket, but I want to pressure out this Lex. Nice. Somebody's behind us, I believe. I'm going to collapse on this Nando. How about a Ruckus? We'll blow the shield as fast as we can because we do have that Wrecker. Tyra's main. I'm going to get some Cauterize on her. Easy. Oh, I dashed right into that. Oh, she got a shield. That's awkward. I need a heal. Oh, no. Oh, I dashed right into the stun, which is unlucky, but hopefully we just we should be able to just cap point. We're off it for a second, but that's fine. Um, let's go ahead and get records two. Toss on the right. Um, where are we looking to take this mount at? I think we're gonna go straight to Talos to help him out. He might need the assistance. He's clear to the left. I'll cover his right. He should be okay here. Dashing on that Fury, easy kill. Focus down this Tyrant next. We gotta reload. Team will finish. Hopefully I can get a heal soon. Nice, good heal. I'll play in this Gordon. Let's make that wrecker. Nah, but we need a heal, buddy. We need a heal. Oh, I wanted to get the alt off. That's unfortunate. Oh, Lex had me marked though. <clears throat> so he knew. He went around pre-firing. I was under the impression that I was able to just come around the corner, get a free shot, and then ult. But he was able to pre-fire me because he had me marked, which is fine. Nice. Talus making plays. Dom keep people alive. Let's go here to the left so we can use our range advantage. Nando's here, which is fine. Let's go ahead and back off. We're half health. Talus is flanking him, so we're going to let Talus do the main work. We pulled his attention to the front. Oh, how did that Q miss? We need heal, buddy. I'm waiting for it, I'm waiting for it, I'm waiting for it. Damba. Hello? Okay. I see it. I see you. We're watching out for the Torvald ult. Get a little damage on the Ethereum. Should be able to just finish off Torvald here. Nice. Perfect. This game's going well so far. We're just doing our job. We're basically just sitting back, shield breaking, looking for the quick pick on the Fury or the Lex. Um... What we gotta think about here. So we have ultimate. They have. They should have all their alts, I believe. Um, and yeah, they have all their ultimates. Besides Nando, I don't think Aunt Nando had time to recharge his. Um, so they probably won't have Nando at the beginning. So our ult should be pretty free if we uh, if we need it. Nando shouldn't be able to save anybody. The Furia ult will hurt at the beginning. So we're gonna play. Like I said, we're gonna play passive again. Um, I don't want to play too aggressive because if they rip off Furial, we can get blown up super fast by a field study plus Furial. That'll kill us oh, super, super. Just die instantly. Not sure where he's going with that. Oh, how did I miss that shot? I'm gonna go main here. I'm gonna ignore the I'm gonna ignore the Nando and go to the back line. Oh, I thought the Nando was still alive. That's awkward. Nice. Perfect. Sometimes the DPS, uh, you have to keep that in mind. It's just sometimes better to uh, ignore the tank and just go straight for the DPS or the healer. No! Alright, we got the kills. So, honestly, typically it's not good to zone like that. But we were able to take two with us. And uh, we'll be respawning around the same time. So I'm going to let our team do the work. We know we have the Ruckus and the Talus for dismounts. We finished the uh, finished the support. We finished the no no we sorry we finished the the Tyra. Oh my goodness, I cannot think right now. And we finished the Lex. So it was it was pretty value to be honest. Let's go ahead and get to the back line here. Kill the Furia. We know the Nano's gonna be going on us. Let's just dash to mid. Try to get to our support in time. Hopefully we can save. Oh no, the Torvald is flanking. Oh, that's a little bit risky of a play. But honestly, I didn't expect Torvald to be in our back line. So. That is fine. We're we're actually making a lot of space for the team, though. When we go in like that and we get Furia, we kill Furia and almost kill Tyra, that makes a lot of space. Um, if our tanks are playing super point-centric... 
Oh shiz. Oh shiz. There we go. Let's go ahead and push here on Torvald. Oh, we hear a mount coming. Dama's on us. We gotta watch out for the Lex wherever he's at. We're being super aware of here. There he is. Ah, I had to reload. Time out. Time in. We're good. Alright, we're gonna come back to main. Oh my goodness, so much damage there. That was a really good ult. I think that's GG. Let's hit him with the emote. And got him. GG's. Um, that was actually kind of fun. Um, kind of waited, I think, 11 minutes for that game. For it to be that fast, but that's fine. Um, I enjoyed that. One reason why Leanne's super good into Torvald, uh, even the Nando, is because just because of the shield break and the cauterize, I believe our Talus had it too. Talus has built-in cauterize whenever he uses his Q. He also can buy Wrecker. Whenever you build-in cauterize, you can buy a free Wrecker. So Talus is able to just burn their DPS. He's able to kill everybody. He's able to kill their tanks. It's super good. We had a super good comp. Um, so that made that game super easy. I think we fed a little bit. Like, we had a couple of deaths where we shouldn't have, let's be honest. But we were able to get to their back line, make a little bit of space. So GG's. That was the biggest thing. I was trying to make a little more space on the sides. I was trying to, like, pull their attention, let our team push up. So that worked out really well. I think uh, Ruckus or Makoa could have done it. But we were able to do it ourselves. And that worked out super. I mean, it just worked. So, GG's. I hope you enjoyed this first ranked placement games. There's a good chance with the rest of these placement games, we will be playing some supports. But, you know, I can't say for sure. I mean, the guy wanted to play Domba, so I went ahead and played Leanne. Played for the team. Played a DPS that works. So, GG's. I hope you enjoyed this video. I also hope you enjoy your day, night, evening, morning, dawn, dusk, or whatever it is where you live. And I will see you in the next one. Later.